Bangalore's lakes face many problems, water pollution, drying, and urban floods. Although there has been considerable effort and investment to address this, we have made little visible progress. This is not due to a lack of good intentions. Often, stakeholders just disagree on what needs to be done due to differing values and facts. As lakes have changed so much from their original role as irrigation tanks, today, we tend to disagree on what should be the goals of restoration of the lakes. Also, we disagree on what works and doesn't work for lake restoration. This is because we don't have good predictive models on how Bangalore's lakes function. Here, we explain four steps we can take to move forward and address lake health. Step one, we need to create consensus on the purposes of the lakes. This is important because different people value the lake for different purposes. Fishermen depend on lakes for their livelihoods. Conservationists value lakes for biodiversity. Many urban middle and upper classes value lakes for aesthetic and conservation reasons. So we need to arrive at consensus through a participatory lake visioning exercise that includes all relevant stakeholders. At the end of a successful lake visioning exercise, there is agreement on a lake vision. Step two, we need to set quantifiable goals for restoration. Based on the uses of the lake, we use different metrics to track lake health. For example, citizens who care about birds will focus on tracking both chemical and dissolved oxygen. Both are important to support aquatic life for birds to feed on. Fishermen want to make sure fish will survive in the lake, so dissolved oxygen may be their important metric as well. We should note that there are gaps in defining lake health. Please refer to the article in the link below to learn more. Step 3. We need to build an evidence base for solutions to foster learning. There are many different solutions being tested, ranging from sewage treatment to floating wetlands to aerators. For new interventions, we need a living labs approach to restoration. We need to pilot test such solutions with clear protocols for data collection to evaluate their effectiveness. We need to complement conventional lab tests with low-cost citizen science and emerging satellite Earth observation techniques. Finally, we need to facilitate learning within the community by sharing data and documenting success stories. Step four, we need to build communities toward a blue-green-gray infrastructure model. Individual efforts to protect and restore lakes are not enough. Lakes are interconnected and an integral part of the city's drainage network and should be treated as such. The city needs a comprehensive blue-green-gray water infrastructure plan that uses a combination of conventional wastewater treatment, constructed wetlands, and in-stream treatment to improve water quality and rainwater storage. We believe that by working together, we can make our lakes and waterways cleaner. Let's begin by working collectively towards a clear and consistent lake vision for Bangalore's lakes. We'll talk about the important role played by citizens in lake conservation in Bangalore in our next video. Stay tuned!